Welcome back to Painting and Decorating. Now, mould, what a nightmare. Um, it can ruin things, it can make things just rot. Um, especially papers and uh, plaster, uh, even plasterboard. It can just eat into it, eat into wood, clothing. It just gets everywhere. So you've got to really try and keep on top of it. Some houses don't seem to suffer too bad, uh, and then you get others that are just horrendous. Now, some of it is the fact of old properties. Um, they used to have a lot of ventilation and coal fires, and then all the wet air just would go up the chimney. So generally, the house was uh, quite dry. But these days, coal fires are gone. We've all got gas fires, central heating. You know, your tumble dryers working, you know, cooking in the kitchen, showers, steam everywhere. So it's an inevitable thing that you're going to get uh, condensation lying on things. So as soon as you start getting condensation lying on things and get the right temperature, mould, it'll just start growing because the actual uh, spores of mould they're just generally in the air. They just need the right conditions to start um, the growth. So what I'll do, I'll show you this ceiling now in this bathroom. Uh, there's loads of different products on the market that you can use to actually clean the mold off at the beginning. Um, one thing I suggest you don't use is bleach because it's too corrosive. It will kill it. Um, you can dilute it. If that's all you've got, use it. So you're better using uh, a fungicidal wash, really, than bleach. Um, there's different products on the market. Um, this mold spray by HG, pretty good stuff. And then you've got uh, Bartoline fungicidal wash. Zinsa do one. They all do them, Dulux Centre, Crown, Ron Seal, there, that one. And you can also get additives for your paint. So no matter what paint you buy, you can buy an additive like this. This is MCS3, Anti-Mould Paint Additive. Uh, I think that one does 10 litres of paint. I've used it quite a lot and I can recommend it, it does work. Um, depending on what room you're doing, there is specialist paints that I've already got. Mold um, resistant paint there. Um, it's got additives already in it. Seven year guarantee on that one. Um, that's a Zinter Perma White. Scuff and scrub resistant. You know, the, some of these paints now, these modern paints, they're really good. Um, bathroom paints, they're the ones that have the mould protection in them. Um, that's a good one. That's a good home, B&Q's. Um, Dulux do them, Crown do them. Uh, they are really good. Now, when it comes to sealants, You've got to be really careful with sealants, corks, um, even silicon. If you don't buy the correct one, it's not actually got an antifungicidal um, thing in it. So chances are within a few weeks, you're going to get mold growing in it. So it's worth spending that little extra uh, and buying one that's got an antifungicidal in it. Now, there's quite a few on the market, some good ones now, that all have fungicidal properties. So that's the way you want to be going because you're just flogging a dead horse. So let's have a look at this ceiling. So this one actually isn't too bad, you know couple of bits here and there, but we'll focus just on this bit here. You can see it's just nasty um, and it does give off 
spores. Um, so I'm there in the air, so if you breathe them in, they can make you pretty sick, you know. Um, so what I suggest first of all is a dust mask on, some eye protection and some gloves. Because the last thing you want to do is start spraying this fungicidal or mould killer uh, around, breathing it in, getting it on your hands. You don't want to be doing that, it's poisonous. So that's the one I'm using. Now on this, it just says leave and allow it to act and then wipe off with the cloth. So we'll come back to that in a minute. It actually says 30 minutes, so we'll come back to that in half an hour. Okay, 30 minutes has passed and I've not done nothing else to that. Let's get the light right. So now all you need to do is wipe it off with warm soapy water. Now, once you've wiped it off, allow that to dry fully before your next stage. Now, there's no, I'm not gonna show you any painting because this is all about how to kill mold. But your next stage would be to sand the ceiling and then either using a bathroom paint, which already has a mold additive, or buy a mold additive for your paint. Yeah, it's really worth adding the mold additive to your paint, uh, especially these days, because a lot of paints now are water-based for the finish. So water-based gloss and things like that. They don't actually have a mold additive in them. So be careful. 